to Texas politics and the potential future plans for Democrat Beto O'Rourke. He held a town hall rally today, first one in fact since he ran for U.S. Senate. Political reporter Jack Fink live for us over at the CBS Tower in Dallas. What did he have to say today, Jack? Well, Doug, Congressman O'Rourke spoke about a variety of issues, but three people there wanted to hear if he'll make a run for the White House. Are you running for president in 2020? Who gave him the microphone? What? <laughs> it was a lighthearted moment, but it cut to the chase. You know what? Democrat uh, Beto O'Rourke said he's focusing on his family and his constituents until his term as a congressman ends January 3rd. And then Amy and I will, will think about what we can do next uh, to contribute to the best of, of our ability to, to this community. And Democrat Miguel Solis says after running a close race against Republican Senator Ted Cruz, there is growing sentiment O'Rourke should run for president in 2020. He has the ability to inspire a new generation that I believe no other candidate does. So when you mix people power with this youthful inspiration, that potentially has the ability to be able to be a game changer. At the but SMU political science professor Cal Gilson disagrees and says O'Rourke would do better running against U.S. Senator John Cornyn in 2020. He said Cornyn is not as popular as Cruz among grassroots conservatives. And so whether or not Cornyn could fire up the base in the way that Cruz can, even if he can't expand the base, is an open question. And if O'Rourke could get half of the enthusiasm that he generated in 2018, he would run close to Cornyn as well, I think. But Karen Watson, vice chair of the Dallas County GOP, says Texans would not be impressed with O'Rourke if he ran again. Well, I welcome a rematch with Beto, and I wish him well, but he will lose if he tries to run again in the state of Texas. Now, if O'Rourke decides to run for U.S. Senate, Jilson says he should just restart his campaign immediately. And if he runs for president, Jilson says he'll have to jump in by early next year. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.